The sidebar here will contain gadgets, or you can add gadgets to it. Gadgets are providing specific information at a glance. The most obvious is the clock. I mean, it tells me the time, right? And then we have what's called RSS feeds here, and you want to watch a training video on that, then I have some pictures. But if I want to add more gadgets to my sidebar or see what's available, when in doubt, just go ahead and right-click anywhere here on the sidebar, or you can come up here and see this little faded area here. See that little plus button? You can click that to add gadgets. Let me click on that and show you there's more gadgets here, and I'll close out of that because you can also right-click on the bar and left-click on add gadgets as well. Brings up the same screen. So here's some of the gadgets here. You can get more gadgets online, but these are the ones that seem popular or that Microsoft has created here, where the ones online, anybody can create gadgets. And so you want to be careful about that because you're not sure if the gadgets may have some bugs or viruses in them. I think most of them are vetted, but you want to read the details about them. So we're just going to skip get more gadgets online and just deal with the ones that we have here. You can even click the expand button here to show details like the calendar browse the days of the calendar and the version of its release. In any case, if I want to add the calendar to it, I can just simply either right click and say add or just double click and it adds it over to the right hand side here as you can see on my sidebar. Um, how about some notes? Double click on that. So you can write down quick notes just by clicking in here and typing in notes. Instead of all those little sticky notes that you may write down and paste it and put it on your monitor here, why not have it just right here? Type in a note, click plus to add another note and have several uh, notes right here electronically that you can actually copy and paste text out of into your Microsoft Word document instead of having to rewrite the same text once in hand so you put it on your monitor then later to type it back into your computer so I really like the sticky notes um, if you want to add more like uh, the weather or the weather bug and I just keep double clicking like puzzles and what's happening is that it can only fit so much on this bar here however if you look up here in the top you have an arrow if you click on it it'll scroll over to show additional gadgets that you've added so you may have to scroll back and forth if you add too many that they can't fit all in one screen here on the sidebar. Once I'm finished I can go ahead and close out of here. How about contacts? Let's double click and add contacts as well. We'll cover a few of these but the rest you want to learn on your own. So I'll go ahead and close out of here. Now if I want to get rid of some of these gadgets all you have to do for like example the clock just right click on the clock and say close gadget or it has a little X here. If I click on the X it closes the gadget as well. Now some of these gadgets you really won't know anything about until you start playing with them. For example the calendar. It shows me today's date if I click on it it'll actually take me into the full month view and then it, in orange you can see it displays today's date and then I can just use the arrows to click around from month to month that's nice and if I leave it like that it stays there but if I come back on here and I click on the fifth it takes me to the fifth click again it takes me back to the month's view now your contacts gadget is just going to display what's available in your Windows contacts uh, application program to find the application program you want to click on the start button here and you can type in Windows contacts you can see it up here just go ahead and click on the link and it opens up and right now I just have one contact It's called training now if you want to create additional contacts you can always right click anywhere in the details pane here and then go to new hover over it and then come over and up and left click on contact and then go ahead and type in the first name type in all the information that you want when you're finished go ahead and click OK and then it adds me as the contact and I close out of here you can see the training contact. If there's more, I can try to type in Kurt and do a search. And there's my Kurt contact that I just added. Go ahead and click on that. Don't have any emails or phones. So in any case, it's just a shortcut to the program that we just looked at that we pulled up. You can create your contacts there. So I'm OK with that gadget, not using it. So I can go ahead and either right click on it and close it or click on the X up here. I'll right click and say close gadget and we'll keep moving on. Next gadget is if you like pretty pictures here. Again, when you right click and you say add gadgets, if you don't have it up, it's your slideshow. It's just going to display a bunch of pictures. Now, where are the pictures coming from? Let me close out. You can right click on the gadget and say more options. Now, some of the gadgets will have options, some won't. You just really won't know until you actually either right click or you set little wrench right there. If you click on that, that also brings up the options. So, when in doubt, usually right click is the easiest. Right now it's bringing up sample pictures. You can click on the drop down arrow and look at other folders if there are pictures available in those other folders. Or what you can do is you can set up your own personal folder like family photos and be able to pull pictures from that folder. Once you set it up, those dots right there, it's called an ellipsis button dot dot dot. Just click on the button. Browse through your computer. Find the folder. If it's your exercise folder that has pictures, go ahead and click on it. Or maybe you have something else in my folder here. Let's do exercises. Click OK. 
and then click OK. Now it's going to pull pictures that are available in the exercise folder. Remember, we only have two of them. I think it was the picture of the kid and then another with a group of people sitting around smiling. In fact, what I can do is hover over here and say go to the next picture instead of waiting 20, 15, or 30 seconds or a minute. And if you don't like the way these pictures are constantly flashing through the slideshow like really fast, you can go ahead and either right click on here or click on that little wrench bring up the options and say, well, don't show pictures every 15 seconds. I don't want to have seizures here, maybe every minute. And then go ahead and click OK. You can even cho choose transitions, like do you want it to have blinds um, when the transition from one picture goes to another, or have it checkered in or dissolve. In any case, I like it simple. And I don't care about the exercises. I would like the sample pictures. Those are nice. In fact, if you know where the sample pictures folder is, you can actually delete or add pictures to the sample pictures folder. Let me click OK. In fact, you can do a search, instant search, click on Start, type in Sample Pictures. And there's a Sample Pictures folder, right? Click on that to open it up. And then there's a list of all the pictures. In fact, if I change my view and I say Medium, I can get little almost thumbnails. And I can say, well, I don't like you, and right click and delete it. Or I can click and drag from my desktop, you know, other pictures. Like if I open up my Exercise folder, and I like the smile click and drag that over here or maybe if I just want a copy I can select it or right click it or if I right click I can go ahead and say copy and then come over here right click and then say paste and there's a picture of the smile here the people I can go ahead and right click and delete that as well and say yes I'm not going to change too much you want to watch the training videos on uh, creating files and folders that's just a snippet here of what's about to come I'm going to close out of here that's why you want to become more proficient in Windows so you know how to navigate and control your gadgets on the sidebar here. Okay. Let's go back, click the back arrow up here to see what other gadgets we hear. We've got puzzles that you can use and click and drag. I don't like the puzzles, so I'm going to right click and close out of the gadget. Uh, weather bug, hmm, I'm going to right click and close out of that one. But what I really like here is, th is this gadget, the weather gadget, is I can right click and choose options because I want to set this gadget for the weather here in Salt Lake. In fact, if I just come in here, and type in my zip code 84117 and then do a search it automatically says well that's Salt Lake City Utah do you want it Fahrenheit or Celsius Fahrenheit click OK automatically gives me the temperature which is pretty warm here in Utah today just after July 4th and it gives me Sun if it was raining it would have clouds here rain I mean it's a nice visual I really like it and like I said about the notes here just go ahead and type in any notes and you can keep typing and typing and typing and it'll keep scrolling down for you and then if you need a new one because somebody else calls you or interrupts you can click add and you can see down here this is two of two notes and type some more and then click add and then at any time you can come back and forth you got your delete button over here just keep in mind that when you delete it it's gone forever and the cool thing about this is if I open up Microsoft Word I can actually take these notes here copy and paste it in Word I'll show you how to do it here let me click on my expand quick launch button here to go up to Word and click on Word so it opens it up. You can even open up WordPad. The thing you want to keep in mind is that when you buy a computer, typically it doesn't come with Microsoft Word. It actually comes with just WordPad, a dummy down version of Microsoft Word. You don't get all these fancy features up here that you can do in Microsoft Word as you would in WordPad. WordPad is just simple, type in some text and basically print it off with a few formatting features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click restore so I can shrink the window here, maybe collapse just a bit, and then click the top of its header bar here, drag it up here, and then I can come over here, click and drag, you see the I-beam here? If I use the I-beam, or I click somewhere at the beginning of the text and drag down, I can right-click it and say copy, right-click over here, and then say paste, and then hit enter a couple of times. See, it's easier to do that versus actually taking actually those little yellow sticky notes and writing in and then pasting on my computer and then having later on to go ahead and type it in again. As somebody once told me, don't shovel the same dirt twice. Get it in once and be done with it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and not save it. And then when I'm finished, like I said, I can delete these and get... A couple more things that we're going to do is that you can actually change the opacity on these gadgets. So if there's something actually behind here that you want to see, you can right click on the gadget, go to opacity, and then say it's 20% and it fades and you can see everything that's behind it. Then when you hover over it, it brings it back into view. So it's mostly just fading in the background. Nobody can really see it unless they squint close to your computer, but at least you know it's there. You can always hover over it to bring back up so it's not maybe a distraction to you. But you can go ahead and right click it, turn up the opacity to 100%, left click, and it's back to its solid state. And we'll cover the RSS really simple syndication feed here gadget in the next training video. 
But for these others, you can actually detach them from the sidebar. Just go ahead and left click and hold it and bring it out here and you have it out in the middle of your screen for whatever reason it's there. This is nice because some of them will actually give you more details here. Uh, this gives me a future forecast of Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, which is really nice. And if I don't like it here anymore, I can always right click and say attach to sidebar and automatically puts it back in its place. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.